Hey, it's Coach Ben. Welcome back. This is part three of building your soccer academy from scratch. So in part one, I talked about identifying your niche. In part two, I talked about who are the perfect types of players that you want to train. Um, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to get those players, all right, and how to uh, put yourself out there with marketing um, and really just different ways how you can grow your business. But I don't want you to watch the rest of this video unless you watch uh, the first video and the second video. So just go back on YouTube, click the videos uh, button, or if you're watching this on our website, there's going to be a way to watch video one, video two. That's really important that you watch that before you resume this video here. So hit the pause button here if you need to, to go watch those. All right, now if you're ready to watch this video, this is all about, number one, identifying your niche, number two, knowing who you want to train, and now number three, is how can we put yourself in front of the ideal customers, all right? And so I'm gonna give you a great example, and this is what I personally do. I know that my ideal customer is between the ages of nine and 13, right? That doesn't mean that that's your ideal customer, this is mine, all right? I'm just gonna give you my example. So they're between nine and 13. Typically, I like to train girls, girls who are between nine and 13, that are beginners. So these are girls that play like the recreational level or YMCA level. Um, these are girls that need a lot of help and they have the ambition and the desire to get to club soccer and their parents want their kids to get to club soccer as well. And this is the thing. I have to make sure I'm working with committed players and committed parents. Everybody's on the same page. If I'm working with a kid who wants to get to club soccer but their parents don't want them to do that, they're not gonna be in my program for a long period of time. And I like to train players for at least nine months. I don't like to train players just for a month. And that is a huge difference than, you know, me just training one kid, they're coming in one month and they're leaving. If I'm training them for nine months straight, right, think about the amount of revenue that's gonna be building within your business if you have things set up that way, right? But that is my target. I'm looking for a girl between nine and 13 they're a recreational player. They need a lot of help. They are not that, uh, they haven't gotten great coaching before. Um, and I recognize that because they need a lot of help, they're going to be in my program for long periods of time instead of just coming to it for a month, right? So I need to identify that number one. Then I need to say, okay, well, where are these players? What are the leagues that are in my town where these players are? So I'm just gonna go on Google I'm just gonna type in my city and I'm gonna type in recreational soccer, okay? And from there, I can get in touch with directors of the different uh, YMCA's. I can get in uh, contact with the actual coaches uh, at the YMCA's. And I can look to figure out, okay, this is where the players are. How can I get myself in front of them now? And the easiest way is by just having good communication skills with the director or some parents and look to offer either a free clinic where you can get in front of, I'd say, I mean, this is really up to you. It could be 10 kids, it could be 20 kids. If you have another coach who's helping you, you could have more kids than that. Um, but you want to get in front of them. And immediately you want to establish who you are and what, you, like, why you're so valuable. And this is the thing, because I'm very specific with my market, I know that any kid who is a recreational player that needs a lot of help and they're not getting good coaching. I know when I come in, I'm an established coach. When I come in, like the parents are going to respect me, the kids are gonna respect me, they're getting training that they've never had before, right? And it's going to feel new, it's gonna feel fresh to them, right? And I know that that is something that sparks curiosity with the players and the parents to do more training like that. And that's why I position myself in front of the right people at the right time. So that's it for today's video, guys. This week's homework is very simple. You want to now identify, okay, who are the leagues? Like, do the little Google research I told you about and look to contact those coaches. And if you need my help knowing how to contact those coaches, which is, that is very important. Um, that was something I would be very nervous doing. Uh, that was really hard for me to do at the beginning. But if you need to contact those coaches and you need my personal help, Go to soccerentrepreneur.com slash call. I will walk you through exactly how to do that and how I can help you uh, grow your soccer academy. So that's it for today's video, guys. 
I'll see you on the next video. The next video is very important, so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get that next video. All right, I'll see you soon.